Elecard Codec Works is a professional modular platform based on Elecard components for real-time video encoding, transcoding, demultiplexing, multiplexing, and adaptive bitrate streaming via HLS and MPEG Dash protocols with the best possible quality. Codecworks enables live encoding into various video formats and encoding profiles for several network protocols. In this video, we will explain how to use the product just for a couple of scenarios. One of the use cases for Codecworks is distribution of video streams from SDI cards across networks with various parameters. Let's take a look at the first scenario, encoding from SDI to IP. When setting up the schema, select an SDI card input as a Codecworks input stream. Then the AVC stream should be sent via the UDP protocol. To examine latency for encoding, sending and receiving the stream, go through the following steps. Open the stream received via multicast with Elecard Multistream Player. The latency between encoding and streaming is about one second. It is a good result, however, for some tasks, it is required to make latency even lower. Scheme parameters should be changed to achieve this. Open parameters in menu and change the parameters of encoder, multiplexer and net renderer. In the encoder, set B-frames number to zero and select the highest performance. In the multiplexer settings, turn off padding and turn on low delay mode. In renderer settings, turn off use sync point and set bitrate smoothing depth equals zero. Run encoding and open the stream with the player. Latency has become significantly lower with the result down to two decimal places of a second. Let's see how to set up packaging into HLS. First, create a new schema. Create encoding schema. Similar to the previous scenario, the schema should be set to utilize an SDI input, but the output stream should be encoded into several profiles. For HLS streaming, the schema is created the same way, but the, on the input tab, we should select a template for several profiles. In HLS settings, keep the default values for chunks and playlists, 10 and 60 seconds. Codecworks is compatible with Nginx server, that is why we can get access to HLS stream directly from the network. For that, we should specify a corresponding directory on the Nginx server as an output for HLS source. Now, when encoding into HLS is set and launched, let's play back the output HLS stream. The given configuration produces 20 second latency. It's chunk size that generates such latency. Now we're going to reduce the chunk size and see what the result is. Open schema parameters. For AVC, set B frames number to zero. And for HLS, set the chunk size to one second. The schema we've just set allows estimating the latency codec works can produce when transcoding from SDI to HLS playlist. Launch the encoding and see that the whole routine for the stream preparation, including encoding and decoding, takes a little bit more than two seconds. The next scenario of codec works utilization is streaming by RTMP, for example, to a YouTube channel. SDI is selected as an input. The output for a codec works console is an RTMP source. In the RTMP source settings, specify a URL address of the server and stream name. For YouTube, all these settings are available via streaming settings. Let's open the stream in a browser to check it. The example shows that the latency is quite low, just a few seconds. We understand that sometimes you may need help. Elecard has a support team as well as a business team that can help structure a solution for you. We're able to help address all your video compression needs for projects of any scale and complexity.